I'd like to ask you to close your eyes and imagine that I placed a blank canvas in front of you. Think of any scene you can remember in detail and visualize the steps you take to paint that scene on your canvas. Take a moment and just admire the beautiful picture you've created. Go ahead and open your eyes. Art has a power of its own, but what if I told you you could take the same steps you visualized to paint this beautiful canvas, and you could instead learn computer science? Now, I know this might sound terrifying, because sometimes learning how to program can seem as complex as mastering a new language, or something that only an expert can do. So let's start by talking about something a little less scary, art class. Growing up, we all learned how to paint pictures, make hand turkeys, even draw self-portraits of ourselves. What we definitely didn't learn how to do was write code. But we could have if we had simply been given an opportunity to learn computer science, just like reading, writing, art, or any other subject. By expanding the focus of computer science education onto younger and larger audiences, we can make computer science an accessible skill that can and should be taught to everyone. It's the baby steps you take to write a small line of code that can teach you skills needed to take on challenges around you, whether that looks like building a website, fixing your computer, or maybe even someday solving something as big as the world's population crisis. Computer science can. Actually, scratch that. Computer science will empower each and every one of you with the skills needed to expand your horizons and to better society. So let me help you become the 21st century da Vinci that you were meant to be. The first step in our artistic journey is finding inspiration, finding the spark needed to come up with a scene to paint, a solution to our problem. How do we do this? Creativity, the power to create something from nothing the power to accept that there isn't just one correct answer to every problem. Using the expansive and free-flowing nature of computer science, we can all begin to instill this creativity within ourselves. A few years ago, I was tasked with teaching elementary and middle schoolers how to code at a summer camp. The first day, I asked the kids to solve a simple problem using computer science, track a person's sleep. There were varying answers and approaches to the problem, but surprisingly, Every kid asked me the same question. What was the correct answer? After a week of learning how to code, we made it to the end of the camp, and I once again approached the kids with a similar problem and asked them again to come up with a solution using computer science. This time, however, not a single student asked me that question. Why? Not because they wanted to go home or because they were tired of their instructor, but because after just a week of computer science, they'd already discovered that there wasn't just one correct answer. Rarely in life are we ever offered a set of black and white choices, a true 100% right or wrong way of going about a situation. Computer science is a mirror reflection of this. For every problem, there are hundreds of different ways a computer scientist can approach it. And just like life, there are trade-offs to each approach with no answer being the absolute right one. Creativity is derived from this kind of divergent thinking. Being able to come up with many different solutions to a problem and having the freedom and understanding to explore these varying ideas. The greatest innovations and inventions of the past have emerged from creative minds. And as we approach a future with uniquely complicated problems, we will once again need to call on creativity to save the day. A global study of CEOs done by PwC found that 77% had difficulty finding creativity and innovation skills they desired in future employees. Where is the imagination that drove us forward as kids? It seems that our hero has disappeared in our time of need. But here's the plot twist. With computer science, you are the hero. Using computer science, we can all begin to think outside of the box. We can all begin to find intuitive, creative solutions to our problems. Using computer science, we can all regain our childlike creativity. Armed with this creativity, the next step in our artistic journey is harnessing the skills needed to actually paint on our canvas, to implement 
our solution. Learning computer science requires skills, just like those of an artist painting a masterpiece. It's those skills that teach us how to tackle problems and how to do so without fear. Computer science is also built on logic that we use in our daily lives. So learning how to program builds a foundation for problem solving that you can apply anywhere to almost anything, all the way from fixing your Wi-Fi to training an AI to write your essays for you. Not endorsing academic dishonesty here. Do your homework. But even beyond just the analysis and technical abilities you gain, computer science gives you courage to take action. How many times have you not asked out your crush because you were scared of being rejected? Or how many times have you not answered a question in class because you were afraid of being wrong? We live our lives in constant fear of repercussions of mistakes we might make simply because we're conditioned never to fail. But computer science teaches the exact opposite. A programmer's code running on the first try is a once in a blue moon occurrence. In every other aspect of life, there are trade-offs, there are consequences to your mistakes. But in computer science, fixing an error is as simple as hitting the backspace key. Because of this reason, Computer science offers a unique canvas that teaches you how to accept failure and mistakes as a part of your life, and how to use and analyze them to better yourself. The empowering nature of computer science is one of its beauties. Armed now with this empowerment, the final step in our artistic journey is gathering the tools needed to become the next Da Vinci. In 1999, scientists placed a computer in the wall of a neighborhood in India without giving any instruction on its operation. To the surprise of researchers, a mere few hours after they made the computer available, children were already using it to browse the internet. And within six months, all the children in the neighborhood were using it to download games and play music. This is a prime example of how intuitive and explorative we all are if we are simply given the tools and an opportunity to learn. In our society, the education you receive depends strongly on uncontrollable factors. We think that computer science isn't open to everyone, but it can be. How? By utilizing cheap technology and open source resources, students, regardless of their age or background, can all receive the education they deserve. Here's an example. This is a Raspberry Pi, a credit card-sized computer with enough power to run Windows 10. And best of all, it only costs $35. With this tiny device, you can do anything from writing a few lines of code to building your own private version of Google Drive. And this is just the beginning. Every year, the cost of technology decreases. And as we move forward, we can leverage this to ensure that every idea is given a voice and a chance to be successful. That is the essence of computer science. It's about learning how to program. It's about learning how to be creative, how to problem solve, how to think analytically beyond what is just in front of you. It's about developing the courage to not be afraid. It's about giving everyone the tools needed for success. We are all taught math and history in classrooms. Why? Not because we all want to be mathematicians or historians, but because learning these things builds a foundation for success in our future. In a world where technology is present almost everywhere you look and will only continue to increase in its significance, we should view computer science in the same way, as a foundational skill that needs to be taught to everyone. By expanding computer science education and making it more accessible to all audiences, we can all begin to regain our creativity. We can all be less fearful of our mistakes. We can all become empowered to solve the problems that appear in our lives, to paint beautiful canvases in our own world. Thank you.